Coming at you from New Jersey, the capital of misery, and the place where metal forgot to die, this is Here Lies Metal, the podcast that brings you the origins, history, and culture of everything metal, with our hosts, Maledictus and Samanthar. They shall be your overlords for today and all of eternity. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Here Lies Metal Too Many Notes New Music Review. What do we got today here? We have, um, all right, you have to bear with me on this. We have a band from another country, and uh, the band is called Hexenbrett. And the record is called, uh, bear, bear with me now, my German isn't that good. Um, Zweitz Beschwung, colon, Ein Kund zu Toten. Now, um, what, what, what does that mean? So that means um, the second incantation uh, to kill a child. More on that in a little bit. But wait, yes, we're talking about Hex and Brett here. Wait, are we talking about children? We might get demonetized. Oh, wait, we're not monetized. Don't worry, we're not making any money. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're fine. All right. Yeah. Uh, this is a band from an unknown place in Germany. We believe they're from Germany, but they're a little bit of uh, anonymous enigma. Um, this is their debut album on Dying Victim Productions, released on May 22nd. We'll relate to this, but... You know, it's Halloween season. Let's talk about something spooky. Oh, so this isn't that new, huh? I mean, it's 2020. Oh, okay. okay. I see. Yeah. But, um, and this is their follow-up to their first EP, which the which was the Erste Beschwerung, the first incantation, which was released in 2018. Uh, so it's like, wait, 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 quickly. It's like, it's like, it's like the Rush song, um, um, th- like the, that has a sequel in the next album. There's like a rush song. I forget which one it is. It's well, we'll have to see, you know, when we get to the third incantation, yeah. if oh, this is sure. a trend. Yeah. Um, okay. But anyway, I, as I said, this band is a bit anonymous. I'm not sure where exactly they're from. I know who it is. I can't. It's former members of Ghost. No, it's definitely not. Damn. Um, I cannot confirm who is in this band. Uh, all I have is the note on their band camp, which says all music was written by Jostu Ferratu. With lyrics written by Scarlettina Valete. Those sound like fake names Do, to me. Those don't come up anywhere, do they? Those sound like fake names. They're not on their metal archives. It's mm. just on their band camp. Okay. So that's maybe two members in this band. Uh, maybe. And there's another fun note on their band camp that says, uh, The vocals on this album were recorded by a mobile recording unit on the cemetery next to the funeral home, which is run by Josto and Scarlettina. During the recording process, numerous unexplainable errors of the equipment occurred. While mixing the tracks, weird noises and voices All right. were heard in the background. All right, can I... They are now a part of this record, whatever they are. All right. Let me be a little skeptic. Let me ruin your the scene here. Let me ruin your fun here. Can I can I ruin the fun just a little bit with Why science? Why do you have to ruin the fun? Because I don't like when people do this shit. Like, I'm tired of this shit. What shit? No one does okay. this. Okay. So, first of all, mobile, let's start with the mobile recording unit. Like, they really, you know how much one of those costs? You know who had the mobile, you know who had a mobile recording unit? The Rolling Stones. And I think they let Deep Purple use it once. That's the kind of, like, money you need to have a mobile recording unit. We don't know what their resources are. All right, you are. guys, if you're listening, show me fucking picture of your mobile recording unit, okay? It's like a Volkswagen van or something. It, it, it's Varg's Volkswagen van. That's what it is. And they, they put, like, a tape recorder in. You know, he's like, oh. I don't want Varg in this Varg record review. Not, maybe these guys don't like um don't want it don't want okay it starting with that okay um and about the you know evps that the voices in your record if you want used to watch ghost hunters remember those plumbers that used to find ghosts i don't think i should do that show anymore because everyone realized it was i think there's bullshit. roughly you know twenty five thousand more of those shows there now. was but they're all gone like you see them even on netflix i don't know we I'm, don't have tv so we're just yeah but you, th- you figure the reruns would be on netflix um i don't see them because everyone just is like this is bullshit so i don't believe anything you guys it's a complete bullshit and i believe it are you guys like plumbers too like you know on the side and you pretend you know i believe it, I, I believe it and <laughs> prove it i don't believe that shit if you guys are gonna come up right. with that shit, I'm gonna another language you. note we're, we're gonna give a little language notes here because every 
uh, song is not in English and the titles aren't in English, but I, it, 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 it provides, you know, a good a bit of background. So the, the band name themselves, Hex and Bright, uh, means Witch's Board, which is a Ouija board. So, you know, spooky. But um, okay. so the album title itself, uh, Ein Kinzu Toten, if you just run that through Google Translate, it says to kill a child. But what I believe this is actually referring to is a film. Um, this is the German name of a Spanish film. Uh, a 1976 Spanish film where a couple of English tourists arrive on an island where all the children have gone crazy and are murdering the adults. <laughs> that's that's kind of like the Wicker Man a little bit. Um, Not I, really. I know these guys are like trans, transposing a lot. Yes. They're like, you know what so, I mean? So there's another one. Uh, the third track is a Czech film, uh, sort of more of a dark. Wait, let's check that. Drama. Not funny. Um, that's widely regarded to be one of the best Czech films of all time and was apparently banned. So we also have uh, La Tumba de los Muertos Vivientes. You know what that means. That's uh, easy. This is the Spanish title of a grade Z French horror film. Um, we have a cover song, the Spider Song. That's, this is our English entry. Uh, that's a cover song by Town, by, originally by Towns Van Zant. Yeah, he was. Um, Who was Towns Van Zant? Um, he was a notorious one of those country music hellraisers. You know, in that whole gang of the, that Willie Nelson, Steve Earle kind of gang. Um, you know, guys that just drank a lot and were bipolar and got into a lot of trouble. And uh, you know, great, great, you know, great music he wrote. But uh, you know, he died in 1997. He was known for sort of like melancholy kind of darker kind of country song the country songs that you could like you know that hipsters are like that song's kind of cool right. you know like that kind of stuff so that one's not a film uh let's yeah. see the seventh song attraverso sette porte al inferno uh that has fire in it that's an italian film or no that's not a film never mind scratch that part okay not film uh, moving on uh track eight blue tigasida uh, is the German, it means bloody silk, but it is the German title of an Italian 1964 horror film. And there are some other, there's a French title on here, there's an Italian title. I couldn't find that those were films. That doesn't mean they weren't, they're just so uh, esoteric and underground that Google could not find them, which is entirely possible. Um, but I'd love to hear if they was, this, these were all, indeed all films of extremely obscure variants. But yes, so clearly we've got a lot of different languages going on here. Um, and definitely a deep love of horror films. And you can definitely hear that on this album. Um, all right, so what kind of music are we talking about here? Uh, metal Archives classifies these guys as black slash heavy metal. Uh, pretty much true, but there's a lot more shit going on. And the way that they're combining black slash heavy metal, they're very uh, nonconformist, I would say. Um, they're mixing up a number of styles, and I would say they're pretty much all over the map. They've got a lot of punky stuff. They've got a lot of goth, goth sounding stuff. I, I mean, it seems pretty natural with the horror theme. Um, and at the end of the day, I don't think these guys really care about the genre so much as just meeting that horror theme and making stuff that sounds spooky. Yeah. And there's like some metal elements on the edges that might get them classified in, under, under metal. But overall, it's like they're not really trying to play to a genre. So pretty high doing their own thing. Um, but just like as an example, track three, not going <laughs> to... Attempt pronunciation on most of these things. It's going to go with the numbers. Wait, can I read it? Hold on, it's here. Um, this um, uh, okay, I'm going to read it. Ready? This one. That's the check one. Uh, that's the yeah. Well, well, that's track three then, right? Yes. Spot. Why well, I have to do a check accent now? However, that goes. Spot. Spotovac. Merciful. There's not enough vowels. Merful. There's no, yeah, it doesn't, that doesn't, that word doesn't seem to like All right. form a word. We're not here to, to, to talk about the Czech language. Um, but track three, you know, it's got very punky black metal on it. And then it also has like atmospheric black metal with like, uh, you know, the blast beats and synths and, it's got everything. you know, it's got like the riffy punk, punky black metal. And then it'll go like just into punk as well. And then it has a heavy metal section with this fucking ripping, like, 
heavy metal guitar solo. It, it's um, it's very Slash or Angus Young. I mean, yeah. it's, it's very standard. It does yeah. it does it it almost it, like you know like the whole album is kind of in this sort of like minor scale. I don't know if that's the right scale. I don't know if it's a minor scale actually. Um, but then it goes into like a major scale, like right in the middle of the song. Right? It's weird. Yeah, and especially so I would say on track seven, uh, Atraverso se te porte al inferno. I'll try that one. It's that's, Italian. That's Latin, yeah. We, I have no background in German or Czech or anything like that, so I'll attempt the Italian though. But uh, that's another one with a lot of genre switching going Wait, on. Can I do it in an Italian accent? It's track seven. Yes. <laughs> Atraverso siete porte al inverno. That was uh, very nice. Uh, but you know, it starts with like this goth spoken word chanty kind of yeah, vocal. What's with, okay, so there's going to be a lot of that. Um, that's that's sprinkled throughout the vocal styles move as well um, between like uh, black metal in German I love German black metal vocal yeah. <laughs> um, to uh, kind of like a shouty punky vocal and then into that more spo- spoken word kind of chanty goth sounding that, vocal that goes with those you know those chimes Yes, as a note, there are bells all over this fucking thing. All over the thing. It's not just one song. They fucking love bells. Um, There are bells on literally every song on this. You know what those... I I mean, no complaints. I like the bells. Okay. You know what those bells kind of remind me of? Um, The the tubular bells of uh, Mike Oldfeld in in the Exorcist uh, soundtrack. I'm sure that's intentional. You all know that song. You know, yeah, the creepy kind of horror, like artsy kind of horror, I guess. Getting back to the Italian song, although I will say that um, I think most of the singing is in German. Um, only Maybe. like the spider song. Like they'll say like the the title. Like they'll have the Italian title in there. But I think most of the singing is in German. Well, imagine if they had a country song in German. I mean, it's like a, it's a country song. Well, what you're if? covering a song. You're not going to translate it to German, probably. I hope, I hope not. But um, yes, track seven. It's you know, it's black metal. It's heavy metal, and it even goes to this kind of smooth. Like a dreamy psychedelic section that's very nice and pleasant. Changes key. It goes into like that. That goes into more like a retro rock, um, and then it just goes like back to like atmospheric black metal. So it's it's really it's taking you on a journey, um, and it definitely has you know that soundtrack feel where you know like oh this was a nice section of the movie and now we're most of it's the horror section but occasionally you have those nice rock sections yeah i think these guys kind of wanted to be like a, a horror movie like an artsy horror film soundtrack kind of like goblin but like more black metal yeah. you know i will say the oh, the most straightforward uh song on this i would is a uh, blue to Gesida, track eight there wait let me see if you're reading it right. i know i am because blue, you can hear him blue. say oh he says it in the he sings it very clearly blue Gesida. blue Gesida. blue Gesida. So I know how to say that because of the song. That's probably the most straightforward. Um, I mean, it's gothy, it's punky, it's very new way of song. Mm. It's dancey. dancey. It's got a very catchy vocal hook. That blue tigasida. Blue tigasida. Blue tigasida. Blue tigasida. Uh, of course, it has like a very demented sounding bridge, but overall, it's the most uh, straightforward song. It's the hit single, I would say, oh, off this that's album. The single. Yeah. That, I hear a single. I'm picking. I hear a single. <laughs> That's what they say on the on the on on that Tom Petty song. But you know the one with John, the the one with Johnny Depp. Remember that one, where he goes, "I hear a single, uh-huh. and the future was wide open." It's like the, the AR man. Said yeah, the AR, AR man said he hears a single. <laughs> All right, but yeah. yes, these guys are definitely doing their own thing. And as far as this genre goes, like without the black metal sections, like I think this would be like just like a rock rock album yeah but it's it's so it's so cool that they're mixing it that's like that's like that's everything you want they're not afraid to you know move into other territory. yeah Goth, it's rock, definitely everything it's, it's definitely it's not like a blend of genres it's like genres that are you know right next to each Occurring other in the same we are, song we are switching violently between genres here and they're doing they're all well i, I call that say. schizophrenia but in a good way there's like there's like death metal schizophrenia which i complain that you know i was i'm always too many notes this is schizophrenic but this is like a schizophrenic that's welcome to me you enjoy it i would have them in my office and i would ple- ple- <laughs> pleasantly analyze them on the couch i'd be like all right the world, okay. let's talk about this problem so as for how listenable these guys are yeah uh they're pretty listenable yeah you know everything even the most like 
pounding black metal sections are not that oppressive. Like even their blast beats are not like you know that overwhelming they're, black metal blast. They'll go beat. easy on you. I mean, they are blast beats, but they're not you know monotonous with it. And it, I guess I don't know if it's just the way it's mixed, but it doesn't really it's not overtake harsh. you. It's yeah, not harsh. It's just they're gentle blast beats. Um and. <laughs> I would say also track six. Yes, um, um, it's an interlude, but it's like three and a half minutes long, and it's no drums. It's just synths, bells, pianos, German whispering. German whispering. You know, like they, like they, they, you know, it's creepy. Germans when they whisper creepily. There's, there's whispering on this album. You know, like Ramstein does that a lot, and it's super creepy. It's like Walter Meister und Konzert. You know, or just like Def und dem Schlaf or in zum Toten Beret. You know, but just, is it that about just German? Scary. That just sounds scary when it's you do like, that. It's like like French whispering. That's like French whispering sounds sweet. It's like or do, it's do like a French, sexy. Do a French whisper. I'm not doing a French whisper. Do one. Come on, no. Don't compare it to German. I don't have any French in front but of you me. You just say something. No, you I'm not French. doing. I'm you not doing a French do whisper. One. Okay. Um, but that you know, French whispering is like you know nice sweet. or sexy or Italian whispering. Italian whispering is sexy. No, as Italians, well. no Italians can't whisper though. They have to speak loud all the time. <laughs> Well, like Spanish whispering. German whispering is frightening. Yeah, Germans are like, you know, they, like, a ger- like a sc- scary like Nazi guy just comes up next to you and he's like, he's like, Rots Diamond of Wellerot. It's like, what does that mean? It means something very bad. I'm reading a Ramstein lyrics, by the way. <laughs> so they're, 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 I don't know what they mean, but they're probably something like creepy and but disturbing. Yes. So track six here, you know, it's an interlude. And normally, you know, interludes, I skip them. Honestly, uh, but you can't skip anything. On this I album. would say if you would just with the nature of this album, like if you don't like this interlude, even though it's an interlude, you probably shouldn't listen to this band because it's basically just like, you know, all of the creepy shit put together and it's not boring, I would say, but uh, it's definitely not. It's hard to call it a song, um, but I would say it's it's necessary listening. If you're going to listen to this album, it's not skippable. Um, so that's interesting. Uh <sighs> Production wise, uh, you know, it wasn't too clean, wasn't too dirty, middle of the road. You can hear everything, but it's certainly not overproduced. It's just right for where it is. You know, like it's that's a good sound. It's a good medium where they are. You can hear everything, nothing you know, it, it it's it's homely, it's warm, and it's just perfect, I think. Just the way it is. Yeah. Because, you know, they recorded it in the in a really like in a mobile they unit. They recorded it so. in a graveyard. And, and you know, that might have affected the sound quality. Like they claim maybe the ghosts fucked right. with the tape. I kind of forgot about their note about the ghosts yeah. while I was listening to it. So I didn't so try to hear any voices. Might. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, yeah. I wasn't listening on like super high def headphones or anything. Yeah, so like. How you'd hear that. Or if you know. Because what if the whispering, he's, he's like the whispering, it was a voice. Like, no, that was you, you dumbass. It's like, that was you. <laughs> that was you. Stop. Oh, is, are, is the German whispering supposed to be ghosts? Maybe. And he's like, I don't know. That was a ghost. He's like, no, that was you, dude. Come All on. right. Moving on to the uh, musicality mm-hmm. of this album. Scroll down, please. Okay. Moving on to the musicality of this album. Uh, kind of middle of the road, you know? Like, they've got those fast uh, black metal sections, but it's mostly just like a mid tempo rock album, I would say. Um, not too simple. Um, I will say there's a really broad selection of sounds happening on here. You know, there's bells, synths, pianos. Bing, 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 bing. There's like percussion instruments. I'm not sure I can identify. The there's human screaming. Oh, uh, screaming. <laughs> there's a number of screams. The uh, horror movies. I mean, yeah, it's like a horror movie. Maybe there's samples. I don't know. But it definitely gives. It's a. It's like a nice uh, panache. A nice. Uh, the bells will like follow the riffs they'll even they'll like the riff will play a note and the bell will just he'll have the chime ding ding he'll follow the notes with this because they're really into this bell but i don't know what kind of instrument that is it, comment down below yes it's a very uh pleasant and stimulating experience to hear all of these different noises and they're all being used very creatively i would say those will be creepy like a like, yeah like an italian horror film it's definitely trying to sound like a soundtrack but also not like too much like it is still an album it is still they are still making songs but it's that you know it's going for that soundtrack feel while not losing you know the interestingness that of like crafting a song yeah the um you know it's they're going for that exorcist sound i think you know specifically that that mike oldfeld sound which is you know really big with the music snobs they definitely that's like I mean, the best that's soundtrack. not every song sounds no, like that though no but, but you know it's like a horror movie like the ultimate horror movie the exorcist 
you know, maybe they're just trying to like just capture that creep, All that right. uneasy but, kind of sound. But yes, uh, as you could tell, I think these guys are pretty fun. It's a fun listen, and I think they've definitely, you know, especially once I started researching, it's like, okay, this is a German name of a French movie, and this is the uh, Italian name of a Spanish movie. Maybe and it's like, what are you guys, you guys are being kind of silly here? Well, maybe one of them's from Germany. Maybe they're like, they're like a they're, they're kind of like a Voltron of like Euro metal bands. And they come together, and they all came together in Switzerland. Like, all right, so one's from the heads from Germany, and and the feet are from Italy, and the left arm is from Spain, and then the right arm is from the Czech Republic. But and, there's also an and, American country song. Or maybe you, like the balls are American. And then they come together in Switzerland and they form the ultimate like horror metal, black metal supergroup. But they won't tell us who they are. I don't know. Because they won't tell us who they are. But the horror theme is fun. It's campy. Um, yeah. It's a good time. I want to look at the album art. Yeah, let's look at this. So look at this. This is um, <laughs> a... Um, in effigy, a dead baby. In effigy, don't demon. No, I'm not monetized. Um, so, yeah. So there. You know, this is uh, all what, photography by the girl the who this? was death. The girl who um, was I don't know. death. Are we supposed to think too deeply about that? I don't know. That's like that Beatles album with all the dead babies all over that they banned. It's got kind of like a creepy face. Yeah, it's like a dead baby doll. Dead baby doll. Someone cut off its foot. Oh, oh yeah. Look, oh, yeah, the foot's broken. Yeah. What does it mean? Um, yeah, it's like, you know, un- under normal circumstances, it wouldn't seem that creepy, but, like, I guess, you know, but, but you know, yeah, I was, always, always have that theme with, like, you know, like, like disembodied dolls in front of a house or something that kind of makes the house scary, you know, like, just having that whole, just that baby doll thing, like, horror movie kind of theme. I don't know. All right. In conclusion. You have to buy into it. I very much recommend this album, uh, especially if you like kind of the weirder side of, kind of black metal element band. It's artsy. Obviously another, I think, uh, apt comparison would be uh, Mal Carpotten, who is a very different feel, but also does that black metal, heavy metal combination. Mm. When you're finished with this, you could listen to Mal Carpotten. Why is that funny? They're Finnish, right? They're not Finnish. Aha! They're Slovakian. Oh, they're Slovakian, huh? I, thought they were, I really thought they were Finnish, honestly. <laughs> they're not Finnish. All right. Check Scratch out. that joke. Pretend it never happened. <laughs> I won't edit it out. Check out this album. It's good for Halloween. Play it during Halloween when no one's trick or treating because of the coronavirus. Just blast Play it. Play it on your own. You're probably though if you're listening because you're probably that house none of the kids want to come to anyway, right? You know, they probably don't want to come here. Especially once you start playing this album with the creepy German whispering. Design. Right, let's do another one. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, let's say a nice long one. Auf dem Kreisen like ich just sie schlagen mir dir Nägel ein. Das Führ was die Seele rein und Urbrick bleibt ein wonderful Asch. That means something of the ass. That That's that's Ramstein. That's like there's something disturbing going on. We don't want to know. We don't know what that is. It's probably sexual and bad. Um, so, all right. Is that it? Is that, is, is that everything with these guys? Uh, yes. There it is. Zweit Bleschenrug ein Kinder zu Totten by Hexenbrett. Buy their shit. But as per that note, they probably won't ship anything to you. They don't like you. In the U.S. Unless you were in Europe. You know, yeah. So. It's so it's Buy so the digital album. It's so disturbing. It's banned. No. Uh, yeah, check it out. And, um, so yeah, that has been these guys and comment down below if you're this band or if you're we definitely want to hear from you i do want to hear and tell you don't have to tell us who you are that's fine if you want to remain anonymous anyway so thank you very much for listening we'll see you in the next review goodbye